In this video, I am going to show you how to fix the FPS drops and FPS stutter in Fortnite Season 11 or Fortnite Chapter 2. So make sure to watch this video till the end and don't skip any steps. And let's start. So the first step is to click on the search bar and type run and open it. Now type percent app data percent and click on OK. Now click on the app data folder, open the local folder, now open the Fortnite game folder, open the saved folder, open the config folder, Windows client, and now right click on game user settings, click on properties, and make sure that the read only box is unchecked, so if it's checked, then what you want to do is just uncheck it, click on apply and click on ok. And now right click on game user settings again, click on open with and select notepad. Now click on the edit button and click on find. Now type M U L T I, so multi, click on find next, click on again, 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 again. And there it is, you should find the B allow multi-threaded rendering option. Once you find it, click on cancel. And now just set it to true. So just type T-R-U-E with a capital T. Once you're done, click on file, save, and you can now close the game user settings. Once you're done, right click on the game user settings again. Click on properties and check the read only box. Once you check it, click on apply and click on ok. You can now close the windows client folder. The second step is to click on the search bar again and type cmd. And now right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator. Click on yes. Now go to the description of this video and copy the command. And once you copy it, just paste it in cmd and click on enter. And the ultimate performance mode has been enabled. What you want to do now is close the command prompt, click on the search bar again and type edit power plan and open it. Now click on power options and select the ultimate performance mode. Once you select it, click on change plan settings, click on change advanced power settings. Now click on the plus next to hard disk. And make sure that these both are set to never. So you don't want your hard disk to turn off on battery or when your laptop or PC is plugged in. Once you set them to never, go ahead and click on the plus next to processor power management. Click on the plus next to minimum processor state and set both of these to 100%. Once you're done, click on the plus next to maximum processor state and set both of these to 100% as well. Once you're done, click on apply, click on ok, and you can now close the power option settings. The third step is to open up the Epic Games Launcher, go to library, now click on the settings icon next to Fortnite, and click on verify. This should take just a couple of minutes and it will verify your game files if any of them are corrupted or missing it will just re-download them. Once you're done with this step, you can close the Epic Games Launcher and move on to the next step, which is to click on the search bar and type background apps and open it. Once you open the settings, make sure that the LED apps run in the background option is turned off. So if it's on, then just turn it off and you can then close the background apps settings. The next step is to click on the search bar again and type defragment and click on defragment and optimize drives. So if Fortnite is installed on your solid state drive then just skip this step and go to the next one because this will mess up your solid state drive so don't do it. But if Fortnite is installed on a hard disk drive, it should say hard disk drive 
So for example, Fortnite on my PC is installed on my D drive, which is a hard disk drive. Then what you want to do is just click on optimize and wait for it to finish. Once again, if Fortnite is installed on a solid state drive, so for example, for if Fortnite was installed on my C drive, which is a solid state drive, then just skip this step and do not defragment your solid state drive. Once you're done with this step, you can close the optimized drive settings. And the next step is to click on the search bar again and type graphics settings and open it. Now click on browse, click on this PC. Now open the drive where Fortnite is installed on your PC. For example, mine is on my D drive. Yours should be on your C drive. Once you open your local disk C, go to program files, open the Fortnite folder, open the Fortnite folder again, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and now click on Fortnite client Win64 shipping.exe. Click on add, and mine is already added. Once you add it, it should look like this. What you want to do now is just click on Fortnite, click on options, and make sure that the high performance circle is checked. Once you check it, click on save, and you can now exit the graphics settings. The next step is to click on the search bar and type settings and open it. Now click on system. Now click on storage. Turn on the storage sense and click on configure storage sense or run it now. Click on clean now where it says free up space now and wait for it to finish. Once it's done, it should say done and as you can see it freed up 1.17 gigabytes of disk space. Once you're done, you can close the settings. The next step is to click on the search bar and now type run and type temp and click on OK, click on continue. Now click on Ctrl plus A to select all of the files and folders and click on delete and click on continue. Once it's done you can just skip the files that won't be deleted and you can close the temporary folder. These are all just files and folders that your PC doesn't need anymore. Now click on the search bar again. Type run again and type prefetch and click on OK. Click on continue and do the same steps. So Ctrl plus A to select all of them, click on delete and wait for them to be deleted. Once they're done, just skip the files that won't be deleted and you can now close the prefetch folder. And the last step is to just turn off Google Chrome or Discord when you're playing because it just takes up a lot of RAM memory and lowers your FPS in Fortnite. Also you can turn off the record replace option in the Fortnite settings. That's it for this video, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helped. Bye.